I'm very excited with uh, our 39th annual Louisiana Classics um, and just overwhelmed with the support that we get from this community. Uh, really excited with uh, what we started last year behind the ninth green, a little amphitheater, and uh, who knows, there might be some cheap um, drink prices for the students to hopefully come out, but free food as well. If that can't get the students, then uh, I don't know what can, but we're hosting, um, four, including us, a 14 field uh, tournament team tournament um, and it's in I played here for five years and now I'm in my 16th year coaching so 21 years this is probably one of the best fields we've seen um, us hosting obviously then you have LSU ranked 29th uh, Wake Forest ranked 40th Texas A&M 28th uh, SMU 30th uh, out of the, the total field seven um, eight teams inside the top 75 so uh, no better chance than to whip up on some big boys at home. Um, now, uh, that tournament, like I said, is Monday, Tuesday, and the College Am, uh, which is kind of unique, not kind of, it is unique to college golf. Uh, we basically see 75 uh, amateurs uh, pony up and support playing with the college team, and that helps us uh, from a financial standpoint to, uh, to be one of the rare tournaments in the, in the country to not have an entry fee. So uh, it is a sought-after event, We've got great competition, and truly hope to have a tremendous support of spectators out there. It's going to be a fun week. How has the team, or how is, has the team used last year's finish to this year? Well, we had, uh, I'd like to say we had a really good fall, Dave. Uh, we finished there inside the top five, four times in our, in our fall campaign. Came out this spring uh, a little bit on the struggle bus uh, in our first event in Mobile. Uh, and then we hosted this past week out in uh, Lake Las Vegas. Again, we saw a little bit as a collective group, not quite where we would like to be. But we did uh, a lot of momentum in that final round for those that watched. Um, Eli Ortego shot 67 out there in Lake Las Vegas. Uh, then Milan Potkeeter, uh, one that we lean on as well, was five over par through nine holes in that final round, and, and there's no quit in him. And he fought uh, on the back nine to shoot five under and get it in at level par. And then we also have uh, Burke Alford, who's really done a lot of hard work over the, over the winter. Um, and found himself leading the tournament uh, going into the final round and actually told me on the second hole, I was checking his pulse and seeing how his nerves stood. And he says, Coach, money can't buy this type of experience. So he, he kind of struggled, and it was expected to be in that position, and, and you know, his putter kind of went cold on him. But my point is that uh, those three guys have, have got some momentum that I feel that they're going to bring, uh, bring to the rest of the team next week at home. How do you balance playing at home and the advantages there being familiar with the course with the pressure of playing only time at home, only time you get to play at home all year? You know, that's the double-edged sword, right, Dan? Um, you, you have the local, local knowledge uh, for sure as an advantage, but then you certainly do put a whole lot of pressure on yourself to play in front of your families, your friends, the members. Uh, and you only get one shot at home to do it. So, um, yeah, maybe we need to start hosting like three events in the spring and, and, and get, get, build up some, some comfortable uh, com familiarity. But, um, <laughs> no, but uh, no, it, it is. It's, um, uh, that's hopefully my job and, and Coach Andy Sheets' job is to, to kind of you know, get the guys as, as comfortable as possible and, and locked in as possible. Um, but uh, definitely the talent is there. We know what this team's made of talent-wise. Um, obviously, to know Oakbourne is, you know, it, it gets some of these new teams when they come in, the pin locations and, and the severity of the greens, the undulation, and, and Jason Barra, the superintendent there, gets the greens really, really fast. So, you know, some of these teams do kind of, it is a, a nice to have a, a, a local knowledge and a little advantage there on them. But the key is, like you said, to just – Keep them calm and keep them relaxed. How exactly do you host a tournament in Vegas? That's a that's a long story. Long, um, we were asked to co-host it with uh, a gentleman that was at Coastal Carolina at the time, and then there were some changes over that Coastal that uh, they Coastal decided to opt out of hosting. So we. We were supposed to be the co-host, uh, and then we became the host. So, yes, sir.
but it is. It's it's a it's a great trip, and it's uh, it, it's uh, no, it's not, it's actually in Henderson, but uh, it, it it helps. We're a very fortunate program that um, we we have a very strong strength of schedule, and a lot of that is encompassed with hosting at Louisiana Classics, but also that gives us some buying power too to host that. So you know, you kind of you invite us, we'll invite you type mindset. And is, that why, is that why UConn doesn't come down here? You don't invite them, or they don't invite you? I, I think I think it has to do with a certain sports writer why uh, UConn doesn't come down here. <laughs> Not saying any names, but his initials might be Dave Schultz. You mentioned strength of schedule. How important is it not just to have these kind of teams here, but going forward, what that means for you when you get to the end of the year and NCAA be able to start being talked about? No, no doubt. It, uh, your, your strength of schedule and your ranking uh, parallel one one another. Uh, now, we need to, you know, we've done a very good job of establishing a great strength of schedule. Now, now it's time. We're getting into the heat of it when it's time for the guys to – to perform uh, and, and, and help that ranking. But, um, yeah, strength of schedule and rankings, and as you know, there's 81 schools that make it on to postseason. Um, and most schools want to see a comfortable number of six or better behind their name. And I think we have the strength – I don't think – I know we have the strength of schedule to do it. Now we, we need to just execute and perform. Yeah. 